Hello everyone. Welcome to a personalized episode of Enlighten. Today, we explore Google's AI evolution with Gemini 1.5, OpenAI's venture into video generation and web search, and cohere for AI's multilingual AI project alongside innovations in print on demand, music promotion, and sustainable seafood. Join us as we delve into these developments shaping the future of technology and entrepreneurship. Google launched Gemini 1.5, an upgrade to their AI model Gemini, aimed at developers and enterprise users with a consumer rollout expected soon. Gemini 1.5 Pro matches the performance of the high-end Gemini Ultra and outperforms Gemini 1.0 Pro in 87% of benchmark tests. It utilizes a mixture of experts' technique for efficiency. A notable feature of Gemini 1.5 is its context window of 1 million tokens, significantly larger than OpenAI's GPT-4 and the current Gemini Pro, allowing it to process extensive queries simultaneously. This enhancement is anticipated to benefit businesses by enabling the analysis of large datasets in one query. Google CEO Sundar Pichai highlighted the potential for diverse applications from checking film reviews to analyzing financial records. Gemini 1.5 will initially be available through Google's Vertex AI and AI Studio for business and developer use, with plans for broader access and a standard version for general users. The model is also undergoing safety and ethical evaluations, especially concerning its expanded context window. OpenAI introduced Sora, a new model for creating high-definition videos up to one minute long from text prompts. Sora, named after the Japanese word for sky, is currently only accessible to a select group of academics and researchers for harm assessment. This model can generate intricate scenes, including multiple characters and specific motions, displaying a deep understanding of language to accurately interpret text prompts. Despite its capabilities, Sora has limitations, like missing details from prompts or misunderstanding cause and effect. Unlike other text-to-video models from companies like Meta, Google, and Runway, Sora can produce videos up to 60 seconds in a single process, ensuring consistency. There are concerns about the potential misuse of such technology, including creating realistic fake footage that could impact elections or replace jobs. OpenAI is consulting with experts on misinformation and bias, developing detection tools, and including metadata in videos for authenticity checks. The training methods for Sora, which involve public and copyrighted videos, have not been fully disclosed. OpenAI is venturing into the web search arena to challenge Google Search with plans to develop its own search product. This endeavor, reported by the information, could leverage Microsoft's Bing to some extent. Microsoft, OpenAI's most significant backer, has invested heavily in the AI firm. The specifics of whether OpenAI's search tool will be an extension of its AI chatbot, ChatGPT, remain uncertain. OpenAI has yet to comment on these developments. This move signals a direct competition stance against Google, following Microsoft's incorporation of OpenAI technology in Bing aiming for a more dynamic web search experience. Alphabet, Google's parent company, experienced a slight share price drop following the news. Despite initial challenges with AI-enhanced Bing features, Microsoft's CEO, Satya Nadella, remains optimistic about its competitive edge against Google. Join us as we discuss the AIA project. Cohere for AI's research team introduces a groundbreaking open-source generative large language model named AIA, covering 101 languages, significantly surpassing the linguistic range of existing models. AIA is a leap forward in making artificial intelligence accessible for underrepresented communities, with a focus on languages and cultures previously overlooked. Alongside AIA, a vast multilingual dataset, the largest of its kind, featuring 513 million entries across 114 languages, has been released. This dataset includes rare annotations from fluent speakers worldwide, aiming to democratize AI technology's benefits. 
Aya showcases superior performance in natural language understanding, summarization, and translation tasks, outperforming leading open source models and benchmarks, and expanding support to over 50 languages not previously covered. The AYA project, fueled by over 3,000 researchers from 119 countries, represents a significant step towards inclusivity in AI, offering an extensive repository for developers and researchers. Available under the Apache 2.0 license, AYA invites broader participation from the academic and technological communities. Now, let's move from the advancements in artificial intelligence and its global impact to exploring how innovation is reshaping traditional industries like printing, music promotion, and sustainable food production. Printify, a groundbreaking print-on-demand platform, revolutionizes how entrepreneurs create and sell customized merchandise. Founded by CEO James Burdigans, Printify eliminates traditional barriers to entry in the retail space, such as inventory management, fulfillment hassles, and upfront costs. Leveraging technology, Printify connects sellers with a global network of over 70 leading print houses, allowing for the production of over 680 customizable products only when a customer places an order. This model not only mitigates risk for entrepreneurs, but also pioneers a more sustainable approach to manufacturing, aiming to reduce environmental waste associated with unsold goods. The company, with a robust team of over 650 employees distributed globally and offices in Riga and Tallinn, is committed to customer satisfaction, continuously adapting to e-commerce trends and customer feedback. Printify's vision extends to transforming mass manufacturing into an on-demand model, emphasizing the potential for a more eco-friendly and efficient production economy. With a significant footprint in the US market and plans to expand further into Europe, Printify is on a mission to empower millions of entrepreneurs worldwide by offering an accessible, risk-free platform to grow their businesses. In the bustling world of indie music, where discovery can often feel like searching for a needle in a haystack, Groover, a Paris-based startup, emerges as a beacon of hope for independent artists striving to cut through the noise. Founded in 2018 by Romain Palmieri and his co-founders, Groover addresses the crucial challenge of music promotion by facilitating direct connections between musicians and curators. This platform allows artists to submit their music to curators who can offer feedback and potentially amplify the tracks they find compelling. What sets Groover apart is its unique business model, where the three 000 plus curators set their prices for listening to submissions. The revenue from these transactions is split equally between the curator and Groover. Impressively, if a curator doesn't review a submission within seven days, the artist receives a refund, with 90% of requests being addressed within this time frame. Groover's approach not only aids musicians in navigating the promotion maze, but also benefits curators by streamlining the discovery of new talent and ensuring they are compensated for their efforts. This symbiotic relationship between artists and curators on Groover offers a fresh and artist-friendly alternative to the traditional, often daunting music promotion landscape. Let's now switch to the innovative Pacifico Biolabs, a Berlin-based startup that is pioneering a novel approach in the alternative seafood industry by utilizing fermentation to create whole muscle structures. Co-founded by Zach Austin and Washington Legrono, the company stands out by cultivating a variety of microorganisms, including mycelium, to mimic the nutrition, flavor, and texture of white fish fillets. What sets their fermentation process apart is the incorporation of side streams from other food productions, aiming to minimize food waste while tackling the infrastructure costs associated with large-scale fermentation. Their technology not only represents a sustainable alternative to traditional seafood, but also forecasts an economically viable future for a wide range of products, from chicken to mayonnaise. As they work towards optimization and scaling, Pacifico Biolabs envisions a future where their fermentation method could undercut the cost of even the cheapest farmed fish, 
highlighting the potential for widespread adoption and significant environmental impact. Thanks for tuning in to today's episode of Innovation Pulse. If you enjoyed our insights and are eager to learn more, the Enlighten Me app is just a tap away. Expand your knowledge with personalized content on over 20 diverse topics, from crypto to health and beyond, all curated to fit your interests. Download the Enlight Me app now at the Apple Store or Google Play, or visit the enlightme.ai website. Stay curious. Stay enlightened.